What's up guys, Cream here from LogicLounge.com. Today, Twitterific released their fifth version of their Twitter client for the iPhone and the iPad. All right, so this is Twitterific for the iPhone. There's also the iPad version as well. It's a combined application, so you can install the same version that you bought for the iPhone on the iPad, so you're not paying any extra. For today only, uh, it's $299, or they're doing a launch price of $299, and you can buy uh, it regularly when it goes back on uh, the regular price, I believe, for $499. Now, Twitterific is a great Twitter client if you don't like TweetBot. Uh, they've got a nice UI here. As you can see, you're seeing uh, my timeline, and it does look pretty spiffy. Uh, you can see uh, the, the profile icons are cropped to a circle. You can see when they were posted, their Twitter names. Uh, you have all of these kind of features that look cool. You have three buttons at the top, one for your timeline, one for your mentions, and one for your private messages, as well as the compose tweet button in there. You can compose your tweet right there. And that's pretty cool. You can add all of your Twitter clients. So it integrates with iOS 6. So if you have your Twitter client or your Twitter accounts integrated into iOS 6, it can pull them directly from iOS 6 without having to re-log in. On the mentions uh, page that you can see here, you can interact uh, with these tweets by either swiping to the left or the right. If you swipe to the right, you can actually reply to a tweet. Or if you swipe to the left, you can see the full conversation of that tweet, which is very nice uh, to do if you like looking at uh, comment threads, especially uh, with Twitter, that can get kind of hard. Now, if you have multiple accounts, it's very easy to get to those multiple accounts. Click your picture in the upper left-hand corner, and you can pick uh, from different things. You can pick uh, from your account name. You can go to different accounts here. You can see that uh, I am in my personal Twitter account here, uh, and you can click the accounts button in the bottom left-hand side and pick between uh, yours or uh, another one. What is also very cool uh, is that you have full formatting options. You can actually pick specific formatting options. When you go into your profile here and click that little A and the A button, uh, you can actually pick uh, a myriad of different formatting options. From there, you can pick different fonts. So uh, Helvecta or uh, all of these different ones you can pick, uh, which is very nice. You can also uh, resize profile icons. So if you love profile icons and you want them to be bigger, uh, you can press the little picture with the guy in it and actually make them bigger and bigger and bigger until you feel like uh, that's where you want them. Uh, and you can also change text size as well. So if you're hard at seeing, if you're hard at seeing, this is a great thing. Uh, you can increase the text size to see that. You can choose from both dark and light themes. I have the light theme on right now and we can switch to the dark, which makes it uh, nice and dark like that. Going back there, you can also change uh, how much space is in between uh, all of the uh, the, the text, so you can increase the space size or you can decrease the space size uh, to do that as well. And from there, you can also change actually the brightness of the screen. So you can adjust the brightness of the screen uh, from within the, uh, the app. So if you uh, need a custom brightness for that, you can change it. I'm not going to change it here because it will blow out uh, the camera's recording. So this is uh, very cool for those who like to have more control over uh, their uh, accounts and uh, how you get to see it. So we'll go back here, we'll go back into accounts, we'll pick my personal account, uh, and you can see everything just blew up again. So it has uh, very nice settings in it um, that you can pick from, uh, which is very nice if I can get into the settings. There we go. So you have different settings where you can pick uh, a dark mode at night. So if it detects that you're at night, so uh, like 5 p.m. or after, it'll actually switch you to the dark theme automatically. You can select that as an option. It's kind of cool uh, to do that as well. Uh, in there, you can turn on notifications. You can have uh, all of these different uh, settings and controls here. Uh, syncing. Syncing is a huge thing, so if you're using it on both your iPad and your iPhone, uh, you can select it being sunk uh, with the uh, iCloud service, which is very nice to have. I believe that's a, it's a very nice feature to have. So uh, within your account as well, you can search Twitter, you can see trends, you can see your lists, uh, all from uh, one uh, nice tab here. Uh, I, I very much enjoyed uh, Twitterific. Um, again, it's a universal application. I love the interface. It's nice and smooth, uh, very performance uh, driven. You can see that here that there's really no uh, there's really no trouble when looking at uh, the performance of this app. It's 
uh, performing very well uh, and even when it's being overused it performs very well uh, in that so I do like that as well uh, it's got a unified theme which is very nice uh, dark and like uh, which is very cool you can change font sizes I love that feature I think it's cool uh, change line spacing brightness controls uh, you can have um, in-app uh, tweet type notifications so you can have different notifications uh, for different types if you're just tweeting or if you need a, 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 a DM so you can easily see that it does have voiceover support so if you're one of those people who does uh, use accessibility you have uh, easy uh, accessibility uh, right there with uh, it as well uh, and pull to refresh which is very nice almost all applications have it uh, native uh, retweet or retweet with comments which is very nice you can search for people uh, you have threaded direct messages which is very nice um, I'm not gonna get into my direct messages because they're kind of personal but um, you can have threaded uh, direct messages which is very nice um, and if you have the iPad version you have a pinnable sidebar so you can pin it to a specific application uh, automatically switching to dark theme so if it's at night you can switch it to a uh, dark theme which is uh, kind of cool if you're one of those people who like to read the dark theme better than you like to read the light theme uh, and of course it does sync with either iCloud or tweet marker I forgot to talk about that uh, read time is very nice as well you can see uh, you can see different read it later applications which is nice uh, you can even translate tweets too um, so it has all of these cool features it's Twitterific 5 Go and check it out. I think it's a very cool application if you're wanting to uh, get a, another Twitter application. My personal favorite still uh, is TweetBot, but I do enjoy uh, Twitterific. So I, I might give it a week uh, to see how much I like Twitterific, uh, and I might switch to it. You never know. So they're having an introductory price of $2.99. So if you get it when they're having an introductory price, it'll be $2.99. And after that, I believe it'll be $4.99. But it's totally worth that application. It's a nice application to have, and we'll see how that goes. So if you have any questions for me, email me, Creighton at LogicLounge.com. Of course, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, all under the username of Logic Lounge. And until our next video, we'll see you guys later.